Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. A weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands as a topic of your week here, we do have the Four of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, followed by the third card which represents the uh, positive aspect of your week, that is to be the Devil card, and the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that is to be the Emperor card. Very interesting. So um, this week, uh, it's it, it's going to play a, a huge role for the weeks that are yet to come. Why? Um, that is concerned with the topic itself. We do have the Four of Pentacles here accompanied with the um, Chariot card. So we do have a, a passive friends in this position. And it looks like that this is the week where you are going to establish some sort of a... Uh, it's not even a zone of comfort. It is not. It is more like a, a a personal fortress, if you will. So what happens? It is that you are going to collect everything that uh, you are working over and everything that you are um, that you resort to. All right, in this um, in this week, and you are going to make a, a successful moves into ensuring a, a secure future for yourself, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. So you can expect that the moves and maneuvers that you are to do throughout the week are going to ensure your position into your career or are going to quench and consolidate your relationship. Why? That resides into the chariot card. It does point that you are, that uh, whatever actions you do, these actions are going to allow you to collect the the look of your hardship, all right, to, 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 to get one step closer to your wish fulfillment. Additionally to that, you are to be recognized as the person, if you will, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, it seems that you are to engrave personal signature in either of those fields. So that being said, uh, just for an example, it is highly unlikely that your supervisor or your boss is going to find a, a suitable replacement for you anytime soon or that you are going to make uh, very clear that your husband, wife or a partner in life are going to find anybody that resembles you or a substitution of yourself anytime soon and therefore you are to uh, you are to secure uh, you or ensure a, a secured future that only you can walk away from so what is going to be the uh, challenge here we do have a person page of pentacles and that is accompanied by the um, 
ace of wands. So we do have an impassive uh, neutrals in this case. So that is a uh, person who uh, does not have any synchronization whatsoever with your goal or with ensuring of your future. So you ensure, you establish your zone and you ensure uh, your future moving forward. And somewhat this person stands outside of that future. Simply they don't have any place in it. For a reason being, it is that they are no very... Um, how can I say it, uh, ab absorbable <laughs> in regards to a new endeavors and in regards to new activities. That is a person who likes to have the things just as the things are. And uh, you, from another hand, Virgo, it seems that you can do um, certain moves, actions, or uh, decisions, if you will, to improve significantly your circumstances. Not only that, but like said, you know, to secure an, uh, or ensure a secured future. And for that reason, this person, Page of Pentacles, will not have any place in it. Um, and another thing that is going to define that, it is because the, the page, it's very... When I say it, they are very reluctant of investment usually. They do invest, but only when uh, they do have assurances that uh, they're going to get in return, like emotional, uh, re um, reciprocal, you know, standpoint in return or a, a, a material investments in return and etc, etc. In other words, they are not willing to risk and... Uh, so someone to take part of your uh, ensured future moving form forward, that person needs to risk someone, uh, something, excuse me, in order to be a part of your life. And they don't want to be, they don't want to, they want to be a part of your life, but they don't want to uh, risk anything. So uh, the positive aspect here for you is going to be uh, the devil card. And uh, it is... Uh, catalyzed by the four of cups positive aspect all right so now you have already secured uh, your future and in this environment or rather like in this bubble that you have secured uh, your wish definitely resides within what i mean here is that um, with these two cards on a positive note you do have the uh, influence the strength, the drive, uh, the, how do you say, it? well, again, the influence to provoke or rather like to dictate a, a fateful event to happen and an event with, it, with which, you know, you can place or rather like initiate a start toward a goal that you so much desire. Here we are talking about feeding up the insatiable hunger of one's soul. So your soul craves for relationship. Well, you will have no problem finding one. Your soul craves for material gains. Well, again, you will have no problems to go for such thing, especially material gains with this four of pentacles. But it is very important here to know that the energy, the, the um, extremely potent energy of the devil it's neutral by its nature. So it can be used to create, it can be used to destroy as well. So what you have to be careful with these uh, two cards is not to get involved into fraudulent schemes, right? Into a, 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 a fallacious actions as well. And in general, not to get yourself involved into things that you can regret after because as it is given to you in a positive way, meaning to do whatever you want with it, you can pretty much abuse with this so-called power. And with the Four of Cups here, you can definitely use that power to uh, to make detachment from a, a previous emotional strings that are keeping you in the past, like uh, uh, an next, uh, uh, an, um, a ruined relationship that you still dwell in and you hope that there will be a reconciliation while well, you will have the strength to detach from it or a, a previous poignant um, attitude toward a certain job and etc etc so you will have no problem here to look toward the future rather than to create to to grieve for the past 
And the last card that we do have for you guys, that is to be the Emperor card, which stands for the guidance that Saru is offering. And that is going to be the, uh, it's going to be catalyzed by the uh, Ace of Cups, excuse me. So we do have an active enemies in this particular case, and that is a beautiful combination pointing that, um, I mean, universe has nothing to do with it. What I mean is that you can go for what you want or you can have whatever you want based on your personal performance and your personal standpoint. What I mean is that if you do organize your life, if you do set up goals, okay, and uh, you keep up with those goals, making up a plan, taking on a responsibility, showing yourself as a, as a reliable person, therefore exerting structure, either into your relationship life or into your career life, you know, then uh, it seems that you are going to adopt a, such a standpoint that you are to face um, the day by day going ups and downs with much more ease. And even more than that, you will be able to control those ups and downs and that will allow you to control all of your life. So this time around, the way I see it with this reading, instead of allowing your ship to be um, to, to be to be navigated by the waves and by the wind, you know, you take the rule of that ship and you are to navigate it with your steady hand. So I hope that you know where you want to go because you are going to get there one way or another. And if you don't like it, well, then that is entirely on you. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading, a November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.